Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Without y'all, I wouldn't I wouldn't be nothing. But let's get to it. Bronny James has declared for the 2024 NBA draft. And he's also keeping his eligibility, keeping being eligible by entering the transfer portal. Honestly, this caught me by surprise. I didn't think he was going to declare, especially when he averaged four point something points a game. And he he wasn't starting. And it wasn't like it was Marvin Williams coming off the bench at North Carolina, helping him win a national title. They won a handful of games, got beat by lower tier teams. And didn't even make the playoffs. I mean the playoffs. Didn't even make the NCAA tournament. But like I always say, I'm gonna ride with Bronny and LeBron. LeBron previous did an interview and he didn't know what was according to him, he didn't know he never heard of that transfer portal. Bronny entered the transfer portal. But do I think that Bronny could play in the NBA? Yes. Do I think it's gonna take some time? Yes. I personally don't think that Bronny is gonna jump in. And be a, a an immediate transitional player. I think it's going to take him some time. Now, I do think that college will be better. You get an extra year. You're going to make more money in NIL deals. Now they say it's not about the money with him, but I'm sure Bronny don't want to live off his daddy the whole time. He want to make his own money, right? You get that. You can go to a small school like a Duquesne, where you don't have to go to these Power Five programs anymore. The one and done rule don't work. You ain't got to go to Duke or Kentucky. Go to Duquesne, average you 25 points a game, wherever you're going to do, and, and get, your, get your stock up. But I will say this, and I'm going to keep riding with this, and if I'm wrong, I'll come on and say I'm wrong. But I do think the Lakers are going to throw LeBron a solid and sign Bronny in the second round to the Lakers if Bronny stays in the draft. And I do think that Rich Paul will let all the clutch clients know and all the NBA teams know that do not draft him. Bronny's going to stay in L.A. Now, here's the thing I don't want to hear or, or I don't like. Bronny never really speaks. I get it, right? I get it. He was under his eye. But Bronny a grown man now. And you can't be in a professional not talking. So hopefully he's going to start doing interviews saying if, if he stays and enters the draft he's gonna have to answer these questions he did one interview at usc and he didn't even do an interview he gave a statement about his heart condition and that's it i get it lebron was trying to protect him and bryce but Bronny is a grown man he'll be 20 i think october it's time for him to start speaking and answering these tough questions now i know he has a lot of media training but he's gonna have to face this him and lebron you can't protect your son forever Especially when you want us, the NBA fans, to pay to watch him play, but he's not going to talk in a in a post post game nothing. But no, I do think that the Lakers are going to throw him a solid. However, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what what he's ultimately going to do. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I made a video saying that. I thought he would have came back to college, but at this moment, I don't know. And how does he keep his eligibility? That's what nothing I'm confused about. I remember back in the day, you had to have an eight. If you signed with an agent, you wasn't eligible. But I know they changed it with NIL, so y'all let me know in the comments. But I do think that this is a smart move. Whatever he want to do, I'm going to support him. But we're not going to do this. You in the NBA, you're not giving no interviews. But tell me what y'all think.